Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to another episode here, TCAT, Theatrical Conjecture and Dissertation, a fancy name for an unfancy show, one of our 10 minute takes here. This one is a special one. This is a special 10 minute take because I, unfortunately, have not had the opportunity to see this film, The Green Knight, um, not as of yet. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I really want to check it out. Big fan of Dev Patel. I'm kind of interested in this sort of reimagining King Arthur kind of a tale. I'm always down for a little, you know, medieval film here. Ms. Sheree Stewart, my intrepid co-host here, had, had to do this. She insisted. She insisted. said, I am not getting off the internet until I get this out of my head about the Green Knight, which she has seen already. So without further ado, we're not, we're not even going to time it. <laughs> it's a 10 minute take, but we're not going to time it because she needs to get it all out. Without further ado, Miss Sheree Stewart on the Green Knight. The floor okay. is yours. So let me just do the housekeeping business. It's the Green Knight starring Dev Patel, Alicia Vikander, Ralph Innocent, um, Joel Edgerton, and uh, others, various and sundry, directed by David Lowry, um, based on the Sir Gawain and the Green Knight tale. Um, it was released in theaters only by A24, and they had a one night only streaming window where you could pay your your monies that you earned <laughs> your hard-earned monies your hard-earned monies and sh had a four-hour window from like nine to midnight where you could stream this Jesus. movie from the comfort of your own roku device or apple tv device or on your computers various and sundry so i did this thing and it is I have to get this out of me because I need to purge this movie from my brain somehow. And I, and I, and I'm, and that's not to say that I didn't like it Don. like, but I hated it, but I didn't. And I, and I, I have a lot of complex emotions about this movie, which I guess is hmm. a successful movie. Um, it, it can be. Okay. Dev Patel. Fantastic. Hmm. His, he was so good. He's very extremely watchable his glow up has been tremendous to see over the years and he was tremendous mm -hmm. however and this movie is beautiful it is like this amazing work of art every shot every scene is just gorgeous to look at mm -hmm. it's just you know it's it's almost like being in a fever dream or, or listening to somebody tell you their dream, which nobody cares about anybody else's dream. So, it, it, so it's boring oh. <laughs> in a way. No, but not in a bad way. <laughs> like, I can't even freaking wrap my head around this, the, the, the dichotomy of this movie because it's like, okay, do you remember the first time you as a child went on a field trip to maybe like a fine art museum mm -hmm. where you saw things that were amazing and still stick with you to this day as mm -hmm. amazing, beautiful, ph phenomenal works of art. But you were bored to tears being there at the time because you were a kid and you didn't understand what was going on. Yeah. And it was just like, oh, we're still here. But now as an adult, like you still remember seeing that piece of art. Mm -hmm. Like you still remember that. It's like that. It's like it's so slow and so weirdly long and very strange. And things happen that are inexplicable. And then the it's just and, and you want to strangle somebody because it's so slow. But yet it's beautiful. It's torture. This movie is torturous. It's beautiful <laughs> and interesting, but painfully, painfully slow and boring Ugh. at the same time. And it's like, I if I had seen this in the theaters, I would have been livid. Mm. But because I didn't see it in the theaters, I wish I had. <laughs> so you could <laughs> be livid? 
because no, because it was so cool. Like the shots are so mm. cool, and they're and it's like seeing it on the small screen. Every I'm like, man, I bet this would be amazing in the big screen. Man, I bet that would be amazing in the theaters. Wow, the sound is crazy. Wow, these performances are awesome. Wow, the special effects is really great. Like I wish I saw this in the theater, but I know if I saw this in the theater, I'd be really mad about it. <laughs> so it's. <laughs> oh wait! And I and I hated it, but I might have to watch it again <laughs> because <laughs> there was so much going on. Oh wow! Yeah, I don't know, man. I can't. And that that, ladies and gentlemen, is art. <laughs> art. <laughs> art. <laughs> it was in the truest sense of the word, like. Whew. Like, it's one of those, it felt super, like, saying you love this movie is, like, makes me feel like if I'm a pretentious art school douchebag with a fedora and a scarf, and I'm Ooh. like, well, The Green Knight is the best movie of 2020 or 2021 or whatever year it is, because years don't matter anymore. But it it, it kind of is. <laughs> I do kind of feel that way, but I also feel like maybe it was the worst. Okay, so, so then if you had to give it our rating, what would you give it? To feel good about yourself after watching this movie, I would say maybe wait for it to come out on the red box. So it's before Ooh, streaming. Red box. You're, well, you're spending money Ooh. outside of streaming. But it's not theater money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, true. But doesn't like, it take I, I, even longer to eventually get to Redbox? I thought it got to Redbox before it goes on streaming. Oh. Just not lately with the, the Warner gotcha. Brothers because of the pandemic. Right. Stuff. Like, for me, like, seeing it in Redbox is before it's on streaming, streaming. platforms and before it's on basic cable and yeah. before it's on just, you know, TNT and Tuesday and the gym. But it's like... See it as soon as you can, but not in the theater. Unless unless you're a super artsy theater nerd who likes big, you know, beautiful, slow ass movies. Like like and maybe that's what it is. Like Zodiac mm -hmm. is a real slow ass movie. But I love Zodiac and I can't explain why. That David Fincher movie, mm -hmm. it's real slow and way too long. But the, and this movie was only two hours. So, I mean, it wasn't as long as, as vampires on a plane. <laughs> That's true. And it could have been much longer. Um, it's, it felt like being in a fever dream. It felt like being on hallucinogens of some kind. And you start to question what you're seeing. And if you're seeing and, and what it all means, and, and it, it doesn't mean anything. But, but maybe it does. Like, it's... Whoever made this movie, I think they did a lot of mushrooms and they interpreted this Sir Gawain and the Green Knight tale in a way to appeal to modern sensibilities in a way I'm not 100% convinced was the original intent, but mm. it could have been because things were weird and freak nasty back then and we like to pretend like everything was a little bit more genteel and innocent in the past and that is a common misconception of the past that that it kind of breaks that down a little bit. Mm. It's so, it was such a strange movie and not in a David Fincher. I know, no, I mean, a, a David Lynch. I know I'm watching a strange movie kind of way, kind of way. Mm. It was, it, it sneaks up on you how strange it is. Like you think you're going in and it's going to be just kind of a normal, you know, kind of Robin Hoodie, mm -hmm. King Arthur kind of deal. And then, you know, they start to throw in these elements of magic. So you're like, okay, maybe it's just going to be your run of the mill kind of uh, medieval esque fantasy mm -hmm. kind of thing with like Merlin and, you know, Morgana and some of these characters that, that deal with magic. But then there's like talking animals and weird lapses in time and paths not taken and and you they they show you spiraling unfolding events that happen but then they rewind it back and if they make a different choice that doesn't happen if something else happens 
And so it's like, you don't know what's happening, but you do. If you're, I mean, you, you, it's, I hated it, Don. <laughs> and, and, I, and I hate myself for watching it and staying up till midnight to watch it in this window that they gave me and spending $20 to do it. Yeah. Oof. But I would do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So, uh, uh, okay. Uh, listen. <laughs> so to our tens of listeners, uh, our recommendation is who the hell knows? You know what? Watch it or don't, man. It's <laughs> on you. You know what? Yeah. Watch it or don't. It seems to be the same thing. It's, it's on you. It's just, I can't. I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That That's what the, that's how the green lights uh, tagline should have been. The green night. It's on you. <laughs> Watch it or not, it's on you. Wow. Wow. I, I mean, to our fans. I can't take responsibility <laughs> for you watching this movie. <laughs> to, to our fans, th this has been a truly, just a once in a lifetime kind of review. I, 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 I mean, now I have to see this movie. I, I, I don't want that responsibility, Don, because I'm, you might hate it. I'm kind of a little worried at the same time. <laughs> but I still kind of have to see this. It. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna watch it again. <laughs> That's that is a hell of a recommendation. <laughs> Hated it, but I'm gonna watch that shit again. <laughs> I, listen, <laughs> I, I'm gonna ask our our tens of viewers if you've seen it. What's your take? Is yes, it, yes, is, is, yes. Is it is it just like charades? Is it vastly if you've different? You've seen this movie and it's haunting you. Please, like, reach out to us and let, us and let us, like, like hold our hands and we'll get through this together. And let us know. <laughs> so, subscribe, hit the bell, and go right down there to the comments and let us know about this one. Because this, this seems to, we, we seem to have hit a new point here in, in the 10 minute take with this kind of recommendation that I've never heard. Ever. I don't know what to make of this movie. Yeah. Usually, we kind of know what what we're what we're looking at here it seems like we don't and that's that's a pretty broad hell of a statement <laughs> hell of a statement but remember subscribe hit the bell so you always know when we've got some new posts coming up here on youtube don't forget our webpage tcatnetwork.com where we got all of our uh, podcast episodes along with good morning antioch and the reading um yeah this one was unique. This one was very unique. Um, I look forward to more of these, although, <laughs> oof. I mean, I don't, I can't imagine anybody else would make a movie that, that this much. Listen, <laughs> never say never. That's never true. say never. So on that note, we're gonna let Sheree's brain fry a little bit more over this. Uh, I need to go watch something stupid. <laughs> but until next time, See you. See you. John. <laughs>